Citizens are meant to be at the heart of the democratic process. But sometimes it can seem that the politicians who represent us are in a different world. Let's explore some of the ways you can influence what happens in government. If you're old enough, of course, you can vote. If there's an election happening, you can tell the candidates what you want to see your government do, and then vote for the one who agrees with you. This is especially effective at election time because politicians are actively thinking about what they need to do to win. That is, how to earn your vote. This is even more effective if there are many of you. When you can organize people who support the issues you care about, candidates have that many more reasons to pay attention to your priorities. But wait, you say, elections are often years apart. What if we need change now? Believe it or not, politicians are constantly thinking about what they need to do to win the next election, even if it's years away. There are plenty of things you can do to remind them that you, and other people who think and vote like you, are still paying attention. Here are a few. Write them a message explaining why you care. Pick up the phone and call your representative. If they don't answer your call, send them a text to landline message. You'll be much more persuasive in your robot voice. Set up a meeting to discuss the issue in person. Think of it as your opportunity to educate that person. Make a presentation at a public meeting, like the Law Amendments Committee. Find smart people who agree with you and ask them to say something about it in public. Even better, find funny people who agree with you. They'll make a great speaker at your upcoming protest. If politicians don't respond the way you hoped they would, organize a peaceful protest. It's your right to protest, wherever, whenever, as long as you live in Canada. Take lots of photos at your protest and send them to your representatives so they know how many other people care. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media can be a great way of engaging in conversation about your issues and identifying supporters online. Tell a friend why what you care about is important. In the age of digital communication, talking to people in person can be scary, but it's still one of the most effective ways of recruiting people to a political cause. You can join an advocacy organization that supports a cause you believe in, like the Springtide Collective. If you can't find an advocacy group that represents your interests, you can create one. It doesn't have to be big. It could be as simple as starting a club or society at your school. You can join the political party you most often agree with, propose new policies, and vote on resolutions. Better yet, you can support a candidate who's running to be the leader of a political party and who is willing to speak up about issues you care about. When local candidates are seeking the nomination for a political party, you can vote for the best candidate by joining the local riding association. Lastly, if you've done all of this and still aren't satisfied with the results, you can run in an election yourself. This is our 10th and final episode for the first season of The Three Minute Citizen. If you enjoyed it, please let us know by liking our videos. And if you have feedback, please share it in the comments. We want to know what you want to know. Share your burning questions about Canadian democracy and politics, and we might just make a video about it in Season 2.